great combination, yeah? yeah. Originally uh, from Salt Lake and uh, spent some time in Nauta Coolie too. See that? He likes social time too. <laughs> Salt Lake to Nauta Coolie. <laughs> That was pretty good. So you guys all, how long, how long have you been stomping? Uh, actually, you got a pretty veteran group here. I've been with the show on and off for 10 years. 10 years. I've been in the show straight for 12 and a half. <laughs> I've been in the show kind of crooked for 15 years. <laughs> I'm the newest one. I got four years now. Woo! And I actually got to see them in Vegas. You guys are in Vegas, and and, and if you haven't seen the show, really, and, and they use like all these different types. They don't. Anybody have a question before I answer the question? Anybody have a question? Anybody? Your opportunity. Where, right here. Oh no, they just waving hi to their friend. Hi. Hi. Did you have a question? Yes. Okay. Not yet? You were just waving like Shaka from Nala Kuni? Anybody have a question? No? Where? Where? Oh, right here. Come on. Can, can, you, can you squirt over? Otherwise, I'm going to have to jump over and flash all these people in the front. <laughs> what got you guys interested in stomping? Anybody? I told you, the roaches! <laughs> uh, when I first saw the show back in 1996, you know, I was, in, uh, I mean, I was performing and singing and dancing with my brothers. But I first saw the show in 96, my brother was in the show Miss Saigon, my older brother Johnny. And he wanted me to come watch the show, watch this show, and it was just amazing. And he wanted me to come out to audition three months later in LA. And I never thought in the world that I was going to be able to do this. So. I, remember, I remember this guy, I was there at the audition. And uh, this guy got the job from being so funny, and not trying to be funny. <laughs> he was, we were doing this uh, back and forth drumming thing where the, the, the auditioner is drumming back and forth on garbage cans while we're running around. And this guy was trying to do a backflip, landed on his head. <laughs> Never had this much padding in. But still got up and kept going. That's how he got hired. <laughs> that was his Kalihi upbringing. <laughs> What? Um, I'm originally a dancer. I've always been uh, into music and uh, just audition. Just like these guys never thought I could do it. Like the, uh, the whole training process, I was like training for two months and like, dude, all the girls are quitting every day because it was hard. You know what I mean? Like, it's just awkward at first. But, you know, it's just something that I fell in love with and then been doing that since. He actually, is it true, you are a break dancer guy, right? You actually, he actually breaks, so. Yeah, I don't know what And he does some stuff in the show. With lids. With lids, break dancing with lids. Wow, he's like the ninja turtle in the half shell. Huh? Huh? Can you throw that in? I just added that. Hi. Uh, do you guys have any DVDs out or something that we can turn up really loud at home? Absolutely, and they have them on sale right here. Good question. Yeah, that, this prize is supposed to be a DVD. That's his, That's a plug. Okay, wait. Come on up. I gotta get you. Can you come on up? Come on up. Oh, look at that cute. I'm not gonna flash you back there. Hang on. Here we go. so good uh, a lot a lot of practice we practice every day before each show for an hour and then we practice again for like four hours on a Wednesday so it's just continual continual practice wow. uh, what's the origin of this particular dance style wow. this well this particular dance style you know is stomping and I mean stepping you know goes back a ways with the fraternities and stuff and now it's really popular but this particular style started with uh, a guy named Luke Cresswell and his partner Stephen Nicholas they they created it back in England and uh, Luke is a drummer and uh, they they were just uh, street performing a lot 
and they decided instead of bringing the kit all the way out on the street trying to find a place to set up, he was he was just that guy who was like, let me use his garbage can and his telephone pole. And then we form a crowd like this and eventually started to have to keep them interested so he got them involved and this, this whole show was made up based on this vibe right here. Wow. Also, um, what we just did is just one number in the show. Um, basically what we do is we take everyday, everyday things and turn them into music. So normally we have things in our hands or things on our feet or we're doing different things with sticks. Um, so it's technically not dancing what we're doing, we're actually drumming a rhythmic performer. So just what you saw, just a small glimpse of what you see in the show. Okay, so you don't, you, come on up honey. You don't, hang on, I might be ask, asking the question here. Do you have fun? <laughs> Never. <laughs> ever, ever. I'm in drone all day long. It's actually, it's one of, it, being, having this job, I honestly feel, and I, I think I actually speak for all of us, is that we feel we have the best job on the planet. Not only do we get to come to malls and like see all of you wonderful people, but um, we get to relieve a lot of stress by banging on things. So we absolutely love our job and we have fun every single moment. And we get paid doing it. Yeah, we're together. Wow. Your turn. Hi, Hi there. How many concerts have you had? Eight days a week times 10, 12, 15, 4. <laughs> the number of weeks in a year. So, thousands, thousands. Yes. A couple of shows a night too, right? Like in, in Vegas, you guys do two? You do two shows? Uh, two shows here? Oh, a lot of questions. Well, okay. Where do you perform? We're performing at the Hawaii Theater starting next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're off Christmas Eve and every day after that until January 30th. And there's double shows on Saturdays and double shows on Sundays. And they're also doing something with the Hawaii Food Bank. They're volunteering on Monday, right? Also, if you guys come to see the show and you bring a canned good, you get $5 off of your ticket and the canned good gets donated to the Hawaii Food Bank. Well, Polly was here and she was a representative of that. So that's also a way that we get to help out the community. Also, Wednesday, Wednesday, December 23rd performance is a benef benefit performance for the food bank. All right, you young man. Hard. Is it hard? Very hard. <laughs> I'm sweating and I've been off for a while, so I'm really out of shape. <laughs> and to make noise on carpet is really hard. So, yes, it's hard. <laughs> you have to have a lot of rhythm. Who's your youngest member? <laughs> Who is the youngest member? That would be this break dancer. Yeah, I'm from seven. I'm the youngest of us right here. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, there's a girl younger than me in the show. Like, um, 24. Your question right here. stuff at home. Coming from, uh, that's, that is great. I bet you bang on stuff at home. That's my child. That's, yeah, that's how I got started. I'm a drummer, so my mom used to have Tupperware parties back when Tupperware was like the big thing. Now it's all the pop, but uh, I actually started banging on pots and pans and look at me now. <laughs> all that irritating noise paid off, didn't it? I always tell my son, stop banging on the cops. Two more questions, you're going to be one. You get quite a workout. How much weight do you lose each performance? How much weight do you lose each performance because you do have a workout going on? Uh, I don't know. I... No. <laughs> Not much. That's because he eats all day, right? Well, he...